Good morning. Today's day 16 of my 40-day campaign to raise awareness for the vegan movement, for animal rights, for animal rescues. There are so many rescues out there. I appreciate all that they do. Um, I have four that personally I have connections with and ties to. So I picked the Gentle Barn. I picked Farm of the Free Animal Sanctuary, the International Anti-Poaching Foundation, and Ziggy's Refuge. These four organizations I've just been drawn to. Um, like I said, there are many out there that are doing wonderful work. You've got Love Always out in California. You've got Woodstock up in New York. Um, you've got Barn Sanctuary up in Michigan. There are lots of people doing amazing work, and I appreciate all that you guys do. Um, but it doesn't happen without the help from so many. So please donate. Check out my GoFundMe page so I can help these organizations keep doing what they do. I've talked about this before that I had this wonderful master list of things I was going to, you know, go through and talk about every day for 40 days. Um, I had several people, including Elizabeth Alfano, I had her suggest a couple ideas, and uh, I appreciate that. However, I think one day has that actually worked out, and that's okay. And today's no exception, so. Last night I was kind of wondering, am I, am I going to have to dip into the well on the list? And then my son, who's 13, incredible boy, he's in junior high, and because we live in a farm, small farm town, he gets picked on at school for his choice of not abusing animals, of not consuming animals. And he sticks up for himself very well. I could not be more proud of him. For 13, he has such a big kind heart and he always has um, and since we've made this change in our lives he has been on this journey from day one and he has been incredibly supportive to us and um, I could not be more proud of him when we rescued captain to the gentle barn they were doing a live feed and Ellie asked him how he felt about being vegan and he throws out this gem and this is who he is. He says, it doesn't just make your body feel better. It makes your heart feel more pure. God, I can just squeeze him and eat him up. So last night was no exception. I was wondering uh, what I was going to talk about. And thanks to Drew, today's the day that uh, he provided something wonderful for me to use again. Last night he had asked if he could watch Earthlings. Shout out to Sean Munson. Greatly appreciate all the work that you do. It was a pleasure meeting you in Nashville. And uh, man, if the world had more people like you in it, buddy, we'd be doing pretty good. So he'd asked and um, Drew knows he's not obtuse to what's going on. And we've kind of limited what they watch in this nature because some of it is awful. but ask yourself if it's awful and you shouldn't show it to your kids should you be supporting it the answer is no of course um, some folks can watch these documentaries some folks it hurts so bad because it is so cruel to me I think it's important to support the work that folks like Sean Munson do because there are so many people that say it's not happening it's not true Go watch the movie. Go watch the documentaries. Go watch Dominion. So, Drew asked if he could watch it last night. And we said, yeah. Um, he's very mature for his age, and he wants to have all the knowledge that he can to defend himself and stick up for animals and just, God love it. So, after it was over, Beck asked him, said, hey, how was it? And he's like, it was hard. He said, um, it's upsetting. And Beck said, did you cry? And he said, I did cry a little. He said, it's very sad that people treat animals that way. And he's absolutely right. He is absolutely right. It is sad that people treat animals that way. And then in classic Drew fashion, Drew says, I know a lot of people won't watch it. He said, if everyone bawled and cried and made such a big deal out of a dog's purpose, imagine if they watched Earthlings and saw what's really going on. It's 
13. He gets it. What I grew up doing was wrong to animals. The way he was raised, the way we fed him and his siblings was wrong. I love that our kids see it. Our kids are our future, and it's important we encourage them to see things differently than the way we were raised. The old saying, we've always done it that way, is awful. How many things have been changed? Women have been given the right to vote. We used to own slaves. I could go on and on about the hypocrisy. So the idea of the way, that's the way we've always done it has got to go. So listen, this is really important. I really appreciate all the support. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate all of the support and donations. I really do. It means a lot to me that so many have followed along and paid attention, and I really appreciate that. So hope you guys have a great day. It's Friday. Enjoy it.